Meantime, peanut farmers are getting ready for the 2017 growing season. And in Statesboro recently, many growers gathered to hear some of the latest information from UGA experts. That event covered everything from planting dates to weed control so farmers can keep boosting yields and cutting expenses. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the report. Georgia peanut farmers keep supplying the nation and the world with a high quality crop year after year. And a large part of that success is because of the experts at the University of Georgia. In Bullock County, a very large crowd was on hand to hear some of the latest research for this very important Georgia crop. One of the key pieces of information farmers can have is when to plant. And peanut agronomist Scott Tubbs reminded growers about how important planting dates are to the overall success of the crop. Somewhere between the two and four inch soil depth uh, temperatures need to be sustained for about 68 degrees Fahrenheit for three consecutive days. So that's usually going to occur um, somewhere between mid-April and late April. And that's when the majority of growers are probably going to start planting their crop. Weeds are a problem in any crop and developing a good weed management program will pay huge dividends on the farm. Specifically today, we're focusing on a couple of things, starting clean, uh, timeliness of application, uh, specific programs to use in management. Uh, those are the main, the main things that we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, and there's some new technologies coming out in cotton. Uh, you may have heard about uh, some of the 2,4-D or dicamba technologies that are coming in cotton. So growers are concerned a little bit about uh, off-target movement and how peanuts might be affected or not affected by off-target movement from those particular herbicides as well. Weeds can get out of control very fast and it is one thing to have good research, but the producers must act on that information. I think we're blessed in Georgia. We have some great growers, first of all, and that they've really listened to some of the messages that we've had since 2004 when we first started having major trouble. And so they've really adopted some of the technologies and the practices that we've brought to their attention, and we're doing a much better job. It's still not perfect, but we're, we're a, a lot better off than some of the other states that are just now really coming to grips with the pigweed resistance problem. The Georgia peanut industry is very strong and farmers keep growing a large number of acres. In terms of planted acreage, uh, the last two years we have planted more than 700,000 acres in the state of Georgia. Uh, we anticipate a little bit higher uh, this next year going in that we'll be over 700,000 acres once again for a third consecutive year. Uh, that has not happened since 1993. This meeting was also interactive. Farmers were able to give confidential feedback on certain questions which will help researchers in their efforts to strengthen Georgia's number one industry. Oh, it's my, one of my favorite things. Uh, again, I think I'm fortunate to live in a state where, first of all, the Extension Service is still doing what it's supposed to do, delivering science-based information to the clientele, and our farmers are very receptive and supportive of our efforts to try to help them uh, do a better job in their farming operations. So it's a, it's a pleasure for me to, to deliver that message. In Statesboro, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.